Wow, powerful stuff from the Veterans Cemetery there. And we thank all of those folks for sharing with us. And now we turn to the Weather Authority forecast, the alert that remains in place till 9 tonight. Yes, yeah, so it's a little bit gloomy outside. We did have that round of rain that rolled through earlier that actually sparked up some severe thunderstorm warnings for high wind gusts. We're now quiet outside for most of the area, but a few more rounds of storms will be rolling through this evening. So even though that first line has rolled through, the threat is not over. This severe thunderstorm watch continues from now up until 9 p.m. Taking a live look from our triple Doppler radar sponsored by Falsa Service Experts. Notice the immediate area is rain free, but that first batch of rain is now pushing out to the east. That was a line of some pretty heavy rainfall, but not much lightning and really the only threat with that was high wind gusts. Now we're starting to see some typical thunderstorm like cells that are popping up in western New York and these are beginning to develop along a line that stretches from Jamestown over the Finger Lakes through Penn Yan west of Onondaga County through Oswego and Watertown. This line is heading in from west to east and because it's hitting an area of sunshine that's over the Finger Lakes and the Syracuse area, that's going to fire up these storms as they roll further east. So any one cell could be producing some damaging wind gusts if it strengthens enough over the next couple of hours. This will be our next batch, but we could see even more cells behind this line as we go towards sunset. Eventually after sunset, though, we should be clearing out and drying out heading overnight. There may still be a few lingering showers during the overnight as a second week system heads by. Then tomorrow afternoon, a third system rolls through, once again sparking up some scattered thunderstorms in the afternoon, but that system will be much weaker, so not really monitoring the threat for any severe weather tomorrow. The threat just remains for the East Coast now through this evening, and the main threats, even though it is a low threat, is for high wind gusts, maybe some isolated flash flooding and large hail, but again, the winds are going to be the main issue on the storms for this evening. If you're planning on getting your lawn done over the next four days, tomorrow get it done in the morning before that next weather system rolls through with scattered storms in the afternoon. Wednesday's a little bit iffy, just an isolated cell or two, but lots of dry time during the day. Or wait until Thursday, Friday, or even Saturday, as we're staying completely dry for much of next weekend. Timing this out with your future cast. Right now, we have an area of drier air over the immediate central New York area, but that line I showed you will be rolling through in the next hour or two. And it's pretty broken up, so these are pop-up thunderstorms that will be scattered across the area over the next hour or two rolling in from west to east. Then some additional cells will be popping up once again over the immediate area around sunset, getting closer to 8 or 9 p.m. Any of those lingering cells from that third batch, though, exit east and we're dry as we go towards midnight. Overnight, maybe a lingering sprinkle, and then tomorrow afternoon will be our next batch of scattered thunderstorms from that third system I mentioned. Wednesday, that system exits maybe a lingering isolated storm to the south, but pretty dry for much of the day, upper 60s. Thursday and Friday, completely dry, warming back up from the upper 60s into the lower 70s. Sunshine to start the weekend. We're back into the 80s on Sunday with a few isolated showers, not much wet weather, and climbing to the mid-80s to start next week. Michael? Thanks, Violet.